Hey everybody, thanks for checking in. Let's fix a propeller. This is my first time fixing a prop, so it might not be the right way, but it worked for me and it came out fine. So first up here, I've got half of my propeller. Uh, you can see a little bit of a chunk taken out of the tip. The other side that matched this, the other half of the prop, was much worse off. So I figured I would just do the normal full-on repair out of both pieces. So I've got a Dremel here with a small acorn grinder and I am grinding away all of the damaged bits. You might see that I uh, scribed in there with a with a pick the area that was damaged. My goal is to get all of the damaged fibers gone and away so that it looks something like this when I'm done. I'm at least one layer down and uh, try to straighten out the damaged area. Here it is after grinding. You'll notice that there's quite a bit feathered in there. You want to have enough surface area to attach to. And here I am placing a piece of normal packaging tape. Uh, this is going to kind of conform to the shape of the blade. You can see it's already cupping kind of how the blade shape goes there. And then we're cutting out a piece of carbon fiber. So this propeller is an E-prop and you'll notice that the grains in the propeller are actually diagonal. So I cut out this piece and then I go to lay it down in basically a diagonal shape to try to match the grain. You can wiggle it around a little bit, get it lined up. Now we go ahead and mix the resin. Uh, this resin that I got worked great and turned out fantastic, but man, it took forever to dry. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description if you want it, but uh, seriously, at least 24 hours to cure this thing. It was a uh, lay down a layer, come back the next day kind of ordeal. So we're laying on some resin here. This is a one-to-one -one mix. Cover up that area that I feathered. Then we're going to lay our piece of carbon fiber on top of it. Trying to line up the grain of the cloth as best as possible and go ahead and let it stick to the tape to keep that kind of propeller shape. Then we're going to coat the thing in resin. So this will seep through the little holes in the cloth and uh, the idea is resin with cloth with the resin with cloth, several layers, but you want to make sure you've got significant resin. This is the stuff that hardens. This is the glue. I'm building a little further out than the actual damaged area so that I can grind it down. Here's the propeller sitting outside, curing. I've got those sandwiched between two pieces of tape, actually. And I also have some Helix propellers that I got. I actually bought these off of a guy already damaged, and those were thrown in. Here's what it looks like after the first layer and removal of the first piece of tape. The helixes are coming along just as well, but we're going to focus on the E-prop. That's what it looked like. So the top here, the bottom looks pretty flat where the tape was, and the top is fairly well tapered. So we just go and add more pieces of cloth. I believe this is layer three or four, hitting it with a heat gun to draw out bubbles. And you just keep doing that. I think I did close to five or six layers. Now you get to grind off all the excess. Don't go too far. Of course, you'll be able to sand and file the rest of it, but uh, most of the cutting and shape making was done with the grinder here. So pretty close. We're just going to take a standard file and go to town. Now you want to make sure you get not only the uh, front and sides, but also the top and bottom need to be curved and contoured to the rest of the shape of the blade. Keep in mind it should have an airfoil shape. Uh, this is a bit of Q-Bond. I actually didn't have enough built up, so I used this to fill in where the section of repair needed to be built up just a bit. It's great stuff. You just lay down the powder, and then this is essentially super thin glue, super glue, that you, uh, drip in here, instantly cures rock hard, and then you can sand and file to your heart's content.
and now we're balancing. So I've got uh, the piece I just repaired closest to me, and further away was the other half. You'll notice with the string, which is not a super great way to balance, by the way, but uh, that tip closest to us and the tip furthest away from us touch at the same time. This is what the repair looked like when I was done. So you'll see the, the larger repaired piece on the left there required a little more, but close to the same. Now the repair itself was fine, but it looked really bad. So this is me taking a white vinyl from my work and uh, making tips. I think it turned out pretty good. You want to wrap it around the leading edge so that as the propeller spins, it's not trying to peel off the, the decal vinyl. Take a razor blade to the tip and to the trailing edge to trim off excess. And heat gun to get the bubbles out. I also added a little stripe. I think it looks pretty sharp. That's the front. And now the moment of truth. Good afternoon. Whew. Propeller repair. Let's see how it does. Laney's traffic red orange powered paraglider taking off field beside runway 13 departing to the north. Laney's traffic. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> so this propeller was uh, slightly more damaged on one tip than the other, but the damage was pretty symmetrical. The one side probably had about an inch and most of the tip damaged and had to be cut off. The smaller side maybe a uh, half inch. So overall, Feels like all my other pro propellers. Now that I can actually see the tip, it's uh, I think it's a little cooler. But yeah, we're just gonna buzz around and have a good time. Look who finally decided to show up. That's Josh, he's the other gravity flyer. I got a trim out to keep up with him though. Ah, I need speed bar. Oh. Josh trimmed in on his lift too easy here is maybe a mile an hour faster than I am trimmed out on my mojo. It's so frustrating.
gorgeous, gorgeous. All in all, pretty successful. Prop feels great, and we're having a great fly-in. <laughs> Trying to wait shift right. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very cool guys, temperature wise, it's very cool. Got some sweet shots, got a working propeller. Got a nice flight on a Wednesday afternoon. Thanks for tagging along with me. Like if you like it, comment if you didn't, subscribe if you hate me. Let's see how this landing goes. Mm. Uh, ladies, traffic, red, orange, power, paired, letter, final, runway, two, three, ladies.